This video is brought to you by Dynamic Custom Beadworks. Head over to dynamicbeadworks.com now to get your own custom video game sprite. What's up everybody, and Jaycoon here with more of Onimusha Dawn of Dreams. So we got through the first two to three missions out of this 17 mission reimagining of the Onimusha series. There's a few more RPG elements in this than in the previous three, like having multiple characters to use, um, leveling up items individually, not just to a certain amount, but extensively. Like, we already have items that are at level, like, 5, 6, 7, so on and so forth, and not just weapons that kind of permanently stay in your inventory like in the previous games and you would level them up as you go, but an active shop that you can access from mission to mission to where you can just straight up buy new weapons. And um, we haven't seen anything of the Dark Realm yet, but if we do, that is a hundred levels of madness that I am more than likely not going to include in this playthrough. So if you're looking for more Dark Realm action, I'm sorry, you're not going to find it on these set of videos. But let's go ahead and get started with the next mission and see how this story unfolds with this new protagonist, Soki. <laughs> I'm ready. It's time to set out for Sata Pass. How do you plan to get past security? That place is likely to be well guarded. It won't be easy. Don't worry. I know the perfect place to scout the area from. Well, why didn't you mention that sooner? We'll formulate a plan there. Let's go. Well, yeah. that was delayed as all hell. <laughs> Ohatsu's Tears. That never sounds good. February 12th, 1598, third year of Keijo. Working together with Jubei, Soki manages, makes his way to Sata Pass in Suriga. Waiting there is a rather large concentration of cherry trees he has been hunting. Also waiting are the Twisted Genma. They must have increased the patrols. What should we do? I'll draw the riffraff out, while you make your way inside. Soki and Jubei split up. Soki will become the bait to distract the Genma while Jubei makes her way inside the fortress. Okay, sounds like a pretty cut and dry plan. Soki, commence Operation Meat Shield. Soki just runs up to the gate and just starts mooning everybody. <laughs> Soki is joined by a girl by the name of Jubei. Together they prepare to attack the fortress at Suruka. A large number of cherry trees are Oh yeah, it was definitely me that said I didn't care about Jubei this one all that much. Also attack power increases the power of attack combos by 10% uh, probably a better idea to equip the permanent one to attack power up oh, we see a shiny fortress elven map God, just die already. 
Uh, what didn't I like about this? Um, it was basically the fact that the game just did not play like the other ones. Oh god, yeah. Alright, we'll come back to that. Like, this game was so unlike the other three games, like, it didn't feel like Onimusha anymore. Oh shit. Now, don't get me wrong, I like the idea of multiple players, like, because Onimusha 3 is my favorite one, and you use three different people in that game. But, I don't know, just something about this one, it was, number one, the story was not nearly as interesting as the other three. And, two, while the controls are better, there's a certain charm to the original three, that just kind of made it stand out, and unfortunately, yes, even the tank controls had something to contribute to that. Just overall, it didn't feel like Onimusha anymore, it felt like something else. We're going up the ladder. How important do I think story is to a game? I think story is very important. Because if the story is bad, I don't care what kind of game it is, um, eventually you will stop playing. Um, a prime example for that is fighting games. Like, fighting games normally don't need a very strong story because that's not what you're playing it for. But when a fighting game has a good story on top of good gameplay, it just makes it that much more enjoyable. Like, Mortal Kombat, um, Injustice, um, anime games are notorious in a, in a good way, I might add, of having just really good stories. And those are some of the uh, more enjoyable fighting games for me just simply because it's story-driven. 
sorry to keep you waiting, Blue. He's just like, you bitch. <laughs> Like I'm surrounded. Let's go then. Oh yeah, absolutely. Character you got to have good characters if you're going to have a good story. The Acolytes ring. What is this? And, uh, increase only magic power by 10%. Yeah. Rest up. So, where the hell am I supposed to be going? Ah, okay. Someone with explosives, okay, so we're gonna be coming back to that with a different character. Come back! Uh, what did I think of the new death battle? I was actually taken very much by surprise by the new death battle. Um, I did not expect that Top Top was that powerful. And like, once they explained everything she could do, I was just kind of left saying there, like, Jesus, Gara is incredibly outmatched. <laughs>
And I like the fact that for the upcoming death battle, they are actually going back and rehashing a fight. Like, I think that's awesome. Yeah, let's level this bitch up, so... Yeah, like, he... God, he kinda... When you really look at it, he got spanked pretty damn hard. Don't go over, boy! Gotcha. I hope so, too. Because where... I can very much see Samus having upgraded over time. Boba Fett has kind of remained the same. Able to get through here. Okay, then. Oh, wait, I see the ladder. And we found the key that we needed. Awesome. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh, they're going that route, huh? nearly as complicated in this game as they were in, like, the other three. Black Blade. 
quickly grows more powerful with the infusion of red souls. Blade forged with the power of ice. Blade forged with... Hey. Okay, we... Yeah, let's give her that and then we're gonna start leveling it up. Well, no, wait. Don't put it on her just yet. Wait till we get to a mirror. Oh wait, what was that other item that we got? Well, I guess we don't get to use it. <laughs> Okay, now we equip it to Jubei. forgot that she had flurry. Jubei! Hey, Jubei, you want to get the fuck out of the way? Much appreciated. them to remake any other death battles not right off the top of my head because i like back up the ladder because i don't know what else to do no that's all right justin it's no big deal i mean all we miss is me trying to figure this out we didn't miss anything grossly important so i can just very easily edit all that out
thought you were slick, huh? But yeah, if the game locks up again, um, well, the capture module locks up again, then what I'm probably going to do is just uh, call it a night early, and then uh, probably just uninstall and reinstall the program and just not upgrade it, because this has been happening ever since I updated it. Don't be so hasty. You'll get your meat soon enough. Looks like the blue demon is finally here. And you are? I am the man that cuts down anyone that defies the Lord. You're quick. And you are far too quick to use that giant broadsword of yours. The Yagyu technique, and that style, the reverse. Hm. Seems like I keep running into Yagyu's today. Impressive. You know the reverse fencing style. I should have known the son of Ieyasu would. Well, the illegitimate son anyway. <laughs> uh, the... I've never been much for fighting. The illegitimate son of Ieyasu Tokugawa, huh? I finally found you, Uncle. Munanori? Munanori Yagyu, I said, huh? I've never been much for fighting. Blue, the cart with the trees should be up ahead. Torch them before they get away. Yeah, I got enough for a good solid video's worth. So, I mean, if it happens again, it won't be the end of the world. I was starting to wonder who the other intruder was. I just want to be able to get a good chunk of this done before Tuesday because we're going to be focusing to be on Evolve. How ironic. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday because it's a brand new game and I want to get the Too new bad. game's exposure as, you as soon be as possible. Just go on! I have to take him down myself. Blue, the cart with the trees should be up ahead. Torch them before they get away. Yeah, I got enough for a good solid video's worth. So, I mean, if it happens again, I think she's got some with you, dude. This is fun. Just like our old training days, Akane. Draw your weapon, Munanori. I don't need my sword for the likes of you. Quit playing! Oh, she's Dear mad. I witch. Don't look at me. With that eye. to upgrade the armor yet again. Yeah. Actually, let's save just to be safe. Something tells me it might be a good idea. 